your monthly premium is the amount that you're paying each month to have your insurance, whether it's through your employer, through Medicare, um, through the exchange, that's the amount you're paying each month, no matter the level of services you're getting. Now, your deductible, if you have one, is the amount that you pay before your insurance pays anything. So, um, for instance, you might have a deductible of $1,500 you would be responsible for paying that first $1,500 before your insurance will pay for any of your services. So when you're choosing a plan, it's important, that's a very important thing to know. You want to balance the difference between your monthly premium and your deductible to find the best option. If you have a plan that has um, a deductible, often you meet the deductible and then you have a coinsurance, which is a percentage of the health services that you're getting. So you might have a deductible of, let's say, $1,500, and after you meet your deductible, your plan will pay 80%, and you're responsible for 20% coinsurance. So you're responsible for 20% of the costs until you reach your out-of-pocket maximum. And that might be something like $5,000 or $7,000 or $10,000 that amount is an important number to know as well. It's really important for patients, or actually anybody, whether you're young or old, healthy or sick, when you're choosing a plan, you want to consider the premiums, the out-of-pocket costs, the networks that are available to you. Because you might be choosing something um, because it has a lower cost, but it might cost you more money in the long run, or it might prevent you from getting the services where you want to receive them. We see a lot of patients that um, may choose a particular plan through their employer, through the exchange, and they're healthy at the time. They're not necessarily a patient at Roswell, and they come to learn when they get a diagnosis of cancer and they want to come to Roswell that their insurance won't cover them here. And you know, it might be a situation where they might just have higher out-of-pocket costs, which is still a very difficult thing to face, or they might not have any coverage at all, and so they really can't choose to come here, you know, and receive the care that they want to.